I'm a too early. Well, I saw your light on, I thought you must be up. Oh, come in, Alf, I am up. There's no such thing as lions when you've got a two-year-old in residence. Much as I love you, Chuck, sometimes I wish you'd hurry up and be 18. Now, don't wish your life away, as Rini would say. No, the thing is, have you got an hour or two to spare tomorrow morning? Yeah, I should think so. Why, have you found me somewhere? Now, I'm not making any promises, but there is this flat, if you'd like to see it. I can get the key and I can pick you up, what, half past ten? Oh, thanks, Alf. I am grateful, honestly. Ah, well, look, all thank you, me until you've seen it and decided you like it. Oh, I like it. I've made my mind up to like it. We can't wait to make a fresh start, me and Trace. Yeah, well, that's the spirit. Uh, do you fancy a cup of tea? It's just brewed. No, thanks, love. I'd better get off. Oh, uh, this flat, it is vacant possession, if you do like it. Uh, are you fixed for getting rid of this place? Well, I've got a couple of people interested. I had a couple round last night. They said they'd be back later on. Shouldn't be no problem. It's a right bonny little place. Anyway, change is as good as a rest, isn't it? <laughs> Ta-da, love. ta da ta da Tracy. You're not serious, Kate. I'm perfectly serious. I've been wanting to move for a long time. What's wrong with Inkle Street? Well, you know it wants a lot of spending on it. Langton's house has been modernised already. It's got central heating, it works. And I'm getting past dumping in buckets of coal. What does your Bert have to say? Well, if I'm happy, he's happy. Give over. I know your old man. Take a ton of dynamite to shift him. He likes what he's used to. It's only a couple of streets away. I'm not asking him to flame in emigrate. What's it like? Get inside. Has she got it done out nice? Well, it's not to my taste. Frank soon put that right. Mm. How about your Brian, though? I mean, what does he think? Hey, he's that more struck with that little girl. I don't think he'd notice if we were living in a tent. <laughs> I suppose he's all for it, any room. They like living in the same house. Could get serious, that, you know. You want to be careful. Hey, what my son does is his own affair. He's a free agent. <laughs> and another bus just passed. Does she know? I've told you, nothing's settled yet. Our bird has to see it first. Hey, have you heard? You might be getting your name. I'm more interested in who's done these scenes. Have you seen them? More cookie than a fiddler's elbow. Oh, it's that Linda. I'll have a word with her, I'll say. I thought you'd already had a word with her. It's the third time this month her stuff's come back. Well, she's not a bad kid. She's having uh, uh, ups and downs with her fiancé. Yes, but she should leave her emotional problems at home. And besides, you're the supervisor. You should keep them on the toes. Listen, apart from Linda, how long is it since you had to make a complaint? I shouldn't have to make a complaint at all if you were doing your job and keeping your eyes on them like you're supposed to. Oh, I can't wait till you two are practically living next door to each other. Do you know, it'll be better than Bruce's big night out round here. Shut up, big dog. What's she on about? Have you know, Bert? Think about bad Langton. Won't oh, that be nice for all of you? Yeah, just hang on a tick. It's Joe Walsh. Wants to know when the heck you go and get round there. Tell him as soon as I can. Hello, uh, he says as soon as he can. He said he heard that last week. I'll do it. I'll be there before Friday. What's he want? Blood, ask him. You ask him. You've got the message. Uh, Joe, oh, he will definitely be round there before Friday. Yeah, that's a promise. Ta-ra. I think I'll go ex-directory, you know. Ringing me, the damn cheek ringing me at home. Well, he says he's been ringing at yard. There's never anybody there. Yeah, well, if you'd have let me take Deirdre on like I wanted to, things would have been different, wouldn't they? It's not just somebody to answer the phone you need. It's real help. A bloke. You can't go on like this, you know, then. Oh, I'll manage. You're knocking yourself out on your feet. How much longer do you think you can go on doing the work of two fellows, eh? Oh, God, there's no peace at all, is there? Just a minute. Ah, the vanishing man. You're dead right. I'm on my way out. Only as far as across the road, I hope. Pendleton, don't you worry. Oh, yeah? And what about that sink you've been promising me faithfully to install every day for the past two weeks? I'll do it. I'll get round to it. Well, that's the theme tune of the house at the moment. Yeah, when you get round to it. Well, I've got another strike on my hands for not giving my staff proper facilities. <sighs> and what's the matter with the facilities they've been using up to now? They haven't been complaining. They've managed up to now, haven't they? Son, if you want to come across the road and argue the toss with Ivy and her gang, that's up to you. Me... I'm only the boss. All right, dinner time. Will that suit you? Yeah. Which dinner time? Today, unless they're the flaming funny stuff. I'm going, love. I'll see you later. Yeah, try. Huh. What's bugging him? Overworked and underpaid. Yeah, aren't we all? Do you want me to have a flag there for you? No joking. I bet he wouldn't change his one-man band for that hen house I'm running over there. It's like being married to 20-odd nagging wives without any of the perks. Know what I mean? It is seconds, but you can hardly notice the flaws. I mean, you can't say no at that price. 
Can she get in any other colour? I mean, I wouldn't mind a nice warm shade of brown. Mm. Ask her if she can get me a length in turquoise, or failing that, a nice seductive shade of pink. Mm. Right, that's me done. <laughs> and you can tell her that cobweb in the lab definitely wasn't there last week. Oh. Oh, hey, I like that. Mm. Well, there's this woman comes in the cafe. She's got a market store. It's half what it had cost in the shops. Get your stand to treat, Yilda. Two, that'll be the day. I'll be lucky if he talks out for me funeral tea. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's brown for Betty, turquoise or pink for Bet, and Deirdre wants lemon for mm. Tracy. She's getting very handy at making her little frocks. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, any news about the house? What sort of news? Well, has she got any prospects for buying it, like? I've caught a glimpse of one or two looking it over, you know, but uh, I can't say there's been nobody I'd fancy for neighbours. Mm. I believe there have been some nice people looking round, Hilda. But funnily enough, they said exactly the same thing about you. Excuse me. <coughs> this is uh, Mrs Langton. This is my husband, Bert. He's, he's very keen to look round the house, aren't you, Bert? Aye. Ah, well, where would you like to start? Upstairs or downstairs? Don't know. Met no odds. I suppose you have to see the lot. Well, of course we have. You don't buy a house without a thorough inspection. Who said anything about buying it? Us, if we like it. And it prices right. Well, it's uh, certainly a very nice, cosy little family home, fully modernised before we moved in. And it's very labour-saving. Yeah, um, how do you find this open plan, then? Oh, I like it. I just push the Uber through. One, two, three, I'm done. You've got a lot more space as well. Yeah. Hey, I've got love. This'll have to come out. What? It's not right, all this imitation brick stuff. No, it'll have to come out. Ooh, he's old-fashioned in his ideas, him. Well, I like things to be what they seem. If it's wood, I like it to be wood, and if it's stone, I like it to be stone. Hey, mind you, you won't have old fake. It's a bit fussy that way, aren't you, Bert? Well, she's just the same, you know. She'll not make do. You have to have your standards, haven't you? Yeah. Definitely. How's the structure, then? It just sounds... Oh, yeah, yeah, perfectly. I mean, you can have a surveying if you like, but me, uh, well, my husband is in the business, you know. Yeah, well, that's all very well, but you know what they say about cobbler's children running out without shoes on? Now what? Hey, Ivy, I hope you realise this room's not as big as ours. Don't be daft, it's bigger. I tell you, it's not. Look at her face, look. She'll not have it. I'm telling you, it's not as big. It might not be as wide, but it's much longer that way. I could put my cocktail cabinet there. Hey, just a minute. First things first, we haven't bought it yet. <laughs> What's the upstairs like? Oh, now? I'll show you. Hey, if the main bedroom's smaller than ours, you can forget it, because I can't sleep in a pokey bedroom. I wake up feeling as if I'm choking. I like to... Well, I have to have space, you see. Mm. Will you stop being difficult, Bert? She's not interested in your sleeping problems. Well, it's a factor, isn't it? Uh, actually, both the bedrooms are quite a reasonable size. The second one's done out of the nursery, of course. Oh, well, that's nothing. Whatever you've got on them walls, our brain will cover them up with motorbike posters. <laughs> that's one rule we'll not have expense of decorating. <laughs> It'll be nice if you move it to the street, though, won't it? Yeah, of course. You won't get fed up with me seeing me three times a day. Well, I'll see you three times a day now. I'm going up here yet. Flipping it. What are you doing here? How oh, good the kettle is on. You know, our skin Elsie's haven't got the coffee in. Have you been lying in bed till now? I've been relaxing. Relaxation is good for the soul. I thought you had a job flogging sausages. Oh, that was a one-off, love. Sausages today, mink coats tomorrow. That's the beauty of this job. Anything can come up. Who's having coffee? I'll make the coffee. You make yourself respectable. I am respectable. I'm a very respectable girl. You can ask anybody. That is no way to float around the house. We usually do. Not when we've got fellas here. Oh, Brian doesn't mind, do you, Chuck? I mean, you're not seeing nothing you've not seen before, are you? No, but I'd never mind an action replay, though. Hmm. I'm glad somebody around here appreciates me. Flipping exhibitionist. Oh, that is a big word for a little girl. Why don't you take all your clothes off and march down Market Street naked? Then you could really enjoy yourself. Well, I would do, but it's January and it's cold. Hey, can you see me doing the Lady Godiva bit? Not really. You've not got what she had. No, oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> I meant the long hair. Look, I don't want to have my lunch with you looking like that, so why don't you just stop playing silly beggars and go and put some clothes on? Well, there's not much point. When I've had this drink, I'm going to have a bath, wash my hair, face pack the lot. Is that all you've got to do with yourself? I haven't got to do it. I want to do it. It's a big night tonight. You're not the only one that's going out tonight, is she, Brian? Uh, no. Only it doesn't take me all day to make myself beautiful. Well, you haven't got to have your fly. You're probably going to the local pictures and home to look at his motor books. Me, I'm going to an Italian restaurant, swanky disco, in a Mercedes, would you believe? I don't care how you go. I just wish you'd go. I'm on my way. Is it good? 
times I ate her. Well, I thought you were your best friend. What's that got to do with it? Have you got any influence with this guy? No, not that I know of. Why? Tried my charm this morning. Didn't seem to work. Failing, is it, like the rest of your powers? I said dinner time. I'll be there dinner time. It's only half twelve now. You are right, then? I'm fine if people would only get off my flaming back. <coughs> You're doing too much, you know. He'll have to get himself a new partner. Or at least somebody to help out. Yeah, it's not that easy, is it, finding the right person? Ray and him did make a good team. Mm. Hello. Hello, look. Hey, you used to live in Langton, didn't you, Mr. Baldwin? Oh, you haven't met me as Bert, haven't you? Yeah, Christmas. Uh, what about the answer? Well, is it in good nick? Only because me and Bert's considering buying it. You know, we don't want to waste no money on a survey if we don't have to. Well, it was in pretty good nick when I sold it. Shouldn't think they bashed it about too much. So, looks like you'll be moving in then. She wants to. Don't you, love? Of course he does. I haven't made up my mind yet. Yeah, well. It's a lovely little house, I must say. You can't run with the one we've got. There's plenty wrong with one we've got. He wants to really just taking a bit of use to get used to change. Anyway, the money's going to take some finding, you know. I mean, she's not going to budge from that price. Oh, I think she's asking a fair price. I had half a mind to buy it back myself. What stop you, lover? Too many painful memories. Anyway, I'm I'm not that struck on it. I'm not discussing it in front of this lot, Bert. I'm only saying, you know what I mean? Look, I'm just not that keen, that's all. You've made your mind up not to like it before you set up. Foot in sight door. I'm entitled to an opinion. But you're not being reasonable, Bert. Or you've just set your face against all idea from the start. What face? I came to see with you, didn't I? I haven't made your mind up first. I don't see why it's a set on it. Because it's high time we had a change, that's why. Oh, I've been through all reasons, you know them as well as I do. I want that house, Bert. It feels just right for us. I know you don't fancy the idea of an upheaval, but you're not take long to settle in. And just think, no more getting up at crack of dawn to light fires. What are you talking about? I've got up for the last 20 odd years, haven't I? I dare say a few more won't hurt. But you don't have to. Look, we've both worked hard, haven't we? Aren't right for a bit more comfort. No, I don't suppose I'll get any peace till I say yes. Are you saying yes? Do I have any option? Oh, you're a right beggar, you. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know how I ever put up with you. Yeah, no. And it's game, set and match to the lady. No. Uh, poor little chap. He put up a good fight, but he didn't stand a chance. <laughs> It's going stone cold. Ah, oh, joy. Well, you're not going to eat it standing up. Horses do that, not people. I told you, love, I've no time. You can sit down for five minutes. I'm not hungry. You didn't have any breakfast either. Well, yeah, it's a good thing, isn't it? You're always telling me to get rid of some of this flab. What's your schedule for this afternoon? You're not going back to Pendleton, are you? No, I said I'd finish that off tomorrow morning. And then with any luck, I'll get round to uh, Joe Walsh's by about 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. But right now... I'm going over to fix that flaming sink for Mike Baldwin. I'll see you about six, love. Oh, hey, well, have a sandwich with your tea break. A summit. What tea break? Well, that was quick. Oh, we don't hang about once we've made his minds up, do we, Bert? I'll get on to Miss Alice's then. I must say, I'm glad you've changed your mind, Mr. Tilsley. I'm sure you'll like it here. Of course he will, once he gets settled in. Be as snug as a bug in a rug, won't you, love? Once you get your books and your pot plants behind you. He's a smasher with pot plants, Bert, he's honest. Now, why couldn't we have bought one with a little garden, then? Facing south. Well, you did say that backyard got plenty of sun, didn't you? You can train climbing plants up walls. Well, I know, but it's not the same as my grand's used to be. Listen, you'll have enough to do without a lawn tomorrow. There's plenty I want doing in here. Not that you've not got it very nice, you know what I mean? Everybody's taste not the same, is it? <laughs> It'd be a funny world if it were. Oh, excuse me a minute. And take that look off your face. What look? Well, I just don't see what all the rush is, that's all. Cos we don't want to miss it, do we? Oh, it is a nice little house, Bert. It'll be a lot less work for me. Well, I dare say we can do something with it. Listen, once you get going, you'll have it like a little palace. Our brain will give you one. You're joking. That'll be the day. Ah, uh, I think you know Mrs Bishop. Well, I do, but it'll be Bert and my husband had that pleasure. This is Bert. Oh. How do? I haven't to seen you in Dawson's. Uh, I'm the manageress there, yes. I thought so, eh, can't I? Oh. <laughs> he does a very nice Eccles cake. Is it too soon, or can I tell her? Well, it's no secret now, is it? Not now, it's definite. Well, 
Mr. and Mrs. Tilsley. Oh, Ivy and Bert, please. Sorry. <laughs> Ivy and Bert have just agreed to buy the house. They're going to be your new neighbours. Oh. oh, that'll be nice. They've been a long time. You can't expect to buy a house in two minutes, you know. Oh. Say that's doing out pushing, you know, he don't want to go. Well, it's usually the case. It's always the woman that wants to make a bit of progress in this world. Oh, is that what you'd call it? Progress moving in round here, I want. I'll tell you who will be disappointed if Ivy buys it. Who's that? Emily Bishop. I mean, nothing against Ivy, but she was hoping that another young couple would get it with a baby. Well, you know what she's like. Well, she can mother their Brian, get him out from under my feet uh, for a bit. Going strong, that romance, is it? Look, Gail's a grown girl. I mind my own business. Uh, funny. Ivy said exactly the same thing. Well, strange as it may seem, Chuck, some of us do. What are you going on about? I've done nothing wrong. Well, it'll look peculiar, won't it, you showing around the house? Willie really, Eckers, like. Anyway, who's going to see us? Well, people will see you go in. Residents will know you are. Well, look, I'm not sitting up in the flat as me. Fancy bit? Hey, that's enough of that. Just write one of them flats for a fancy bit. That's just right for Deirdre and all. Yeah, perhaps. Well, she's very keen. Yeah, I suppose it'll be all right. Look, look. If the gossip starts, I've got a broad back and I can take it. I mean, I've taken worse. You know, Alf Lover, I am concerned about Deirdre and Baby. I know she's on her own and all that, but, well, you are my husband. And I cannot wish you hadn't got yourself involved. How's it going, then? Uh, it'll take me a lot longer than I thought. Oh, how much longer? Oh, about an hour at least. Oh, well, I'm off. Well, who's going to lock up? Oh, my board will do that. I'll give Hilda the keys. So I've uh, got a heavy date. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, count on it, mate. Sir. Uh... Mr. Old Miss, ain't office. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. They had the buzz. You're moving. Yeah, that's right. Well, once we get financial side sorted out. Don't yeah. move, love. It saves trouble. By gum, you fellas, you're all the same, aren't you? Do you know, if I reckon if it weren't for us women, we'd still be living in flipping caves. Can I have a word, Mr. Walwyn? Yeah? It's about money. Forget it. Oh, no, I'm not talking about wages. Oh, good. It's, um, it's a personal matter. What's the matter? Got behind with your television payments, have you? We have not. Me and Bert have never been in debt all as married lads. We don't believe in living on take. Good. Very glad to hear it. I wish there were more people with your philosophy. What's the problem, then? We want to buy Langton's house. Not a small item. No, well, we already own his own place, you know, but we won't get as much for that as new ones costing. Oh, well, like I said, I think they're asking a very fair price. You know? Yeah, and it's in good condition, so, I mean, we shouldn't have any trouble getting a mortgage. The thing is, we've got to pay a deposit. Have you sold yours, yeah? No, it's not gone through, but uh, we need money now. You know, we've got some savings, but not enough. What did the bank say? Oh, I haven't been to them. I mean, I was thinking, well, they charge interest, don't they? <laughs> That is how they make their loot, yeah. Yeah, but it'd only be for a few weeks till we settle in. I was thinking, well, that is Bert we're thinking. That, that is you we're thinking. If you could see your way to lending us money. We'd be willing to pay some interest, you know, but we thought maybe not as much as banks would want. I'm a jeans manufacturer, love, not a money lender. Well, I know, but, I mean, it wouldn't be that much to you, would it? And it would mean heck of a lot to us, Mr Baldwin. We're both in regular employment, you know, so, I mean, it wouldn't be as if you're risking out. Now, what do you think would happen if the rest of my staff came in here with that idea, eh? Well, they won't. Anyway, we're worth a try. Now, hang on, hang on. How much do you reckon you need to tie you over? Five hundred. I see. About that new uh, work rotor we were discussing. The girls turned it down. Yeah, I know they did. But I'm asking you to get them to reconsider it. Well, they said it'd be inconvenient for them. It'd be more convenient for me. I mean, they get used to it. Production would increase. It's the name of the game, Donna. Well, I suppose so. I can ask them. Yeah, you do that, love. 500, you said? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, OK. What, you lend it to us? Yeah, any time you like. How much interest? Interest-free, darling. I mean, if we can't do each other a little favour, well... Oh, I see. I'll talk to you. Yeah, you do that, love. Oh, and Ivy, don't just talk to them. Get them to say yes. Buy it, you're crafty, you. And you should thank your lucky stars I am, darling. Because if I wasn't, I wouldn't be in a position to lend you 500 quid, would I? Um, 
realise your mother was such a homebody. She just likes some things the way she wants them. Oh, I know that. Oh, hello. Seven o'clock, you managed to put some clothes on. Mm. Yes, and half a ton of makeup and three gallons of scent. She, he must be quite something, this new boy you're going out with. He is. Have you heard Brian's news? His mum and dad are buying Langtons. Pity. Charming. Well, I was hoping it would go to two Playboy bachelors using it for their town pad. I thought you were quite happy with this current lad you were going out with. I am, but you've got to keep widening your scope. Well, some of us have. Yeah, well, see you. See you tomorrow. Yes, love, have a nice well, time. Hey, and, hey, you two, and don't make me up when you come in. <laughs> <laughs> Nor you either. I won't come in if you like. Oh, I wouldn't put that past you and it wouldn't surprise me. Why do you have to be so nasty to them? Oh, the kids. Gail is practically the same age as me, and he's just a few months younger. Though it does seem more at times, I must admit. Oh, you know perfectly well what I'm talking about. They're quite happy, left on their own, without you getting digs in at them all the time. I think she's potty. She's chucking herself away. He's a nice enough lad. Oh, yeah. A trainee-flipping garage mechanic, and still likes to be one on present form when he's his father's age. Oh, well, that's entirely up to Gail, isn't it? I mean, it's their business. I mean, you're not a mother, are you, to start with? Or is it that you're just a tiny bit jealous? Me? You must be joking. I've got more to me than that. Mm. That'll be Paul. I'll go. Do I get to meet this new fella? Oh, yeah. Paul's not shy. Elsie, this is Paul. Paul, this is Elsie. Hello, Elsie. Glad to meet you. Hello. Now, you don't have to worry. I'll take good care of her. Oh, don't worry about Susie. She's her own woman. She makes her own decisions. Too right to do, and up to now I've not made that many mistakes. Where did uh, you two meet each other? Oh, at the agency. I was looking for some pretty girls, models. I'm in the fashion business. Oh, yes. Yes, and then this young lady came charging in, and chattering on about something about oh. sausages or oh, something. damn sausages. I swear the smell's still in my hair. Can you smell anything? Only a very delicate shampoo. Walnut leaves. Aren't you clever? No, not really. It's just that I work surrounded by women all the time, you... Pick up a thing or two. Yes, it must come in very useful when you want to shoot a line. Believe me, Elsie, I don't play those games. If I say something, believe me, Do you know I mean I'm, it. I'm exactly the same way myself. D did you book the table? Yes, 8.30. We'll have a couple of drinks first. Oh, terrific. Well, see you, Elsie. Goodbye, Elsie. See you again. Catch a Coronation Street special on Saturday afternoon on Granada Plus. The escapades of Eddie Yates start at three. Next tonight, the comedians.